welcome back. I hope that you've all had a really good week. So this week, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be seeing what is blocking the two of you coming together. So as always, this is going to work regardless of your individual circumstances. It's going to go into all of you guys' energy, pull out the strongest mutual energy between you all. So if anything doesn't resonate, just remember it for a later date. And me and my guides are going to talk you through it all, okay? Um, so we've got two decks, as always. I'm going to need you to push your energy into the deck, but I'm going to tell you how to do that. Um, website is up and running. I got it all newly refurbished. If you want to go have a look, go have a browse. Also, my turnaround time is still down. It is still down. I'm working like crazy, um, but I'm trying to keep it as down as I can, especially right now with lockdown. Um, I'm just trying to occupy myself as well, really. So all I'm doing is working. So if you want a reading, um, the, the turnaround time is down. Uh, right now it has been for like the last two weeks but I am working like seven days a week so uh, this is deck number one and this is deck number two so what I need you to do first of all is go to the deck that you are drawn to so number one number two um, someone asked me to start announcing what the decks were, which I always mean to do and then I forget. This one is called Bridge, uh, The Bridge Witches, and this one is something about Oz. Uh, my best friend got it for me off Etsy. Um, so deck number one, deck number two, go to the deck you're drawn to. Now, as you're drawn into those decks, I want you to feel your energy in your heart for your person. Okay, try to focus on the positives, not the negatives, but feel your energy in your heart, and as you feel that, I want you to feel it pushing into the deck, okay? Deck number one and deck number two. Okay, feel your energy, push it into the deck, that's lovely, that one's just gone super heavy. Okay, let's do this. Okay, so deck number one. So, yeah, hope you're all okay, hope everyone is staying safe with everything that is going on at the moment. As I said, England is still very much on lockdown, but they're talking now about lifting it. Uh, they're talking about opening the, the shop. So I might still get a summer solstice birthday yet. My birthday's on the summer solstice. Okay, think about your person for me. Can we get into their person's energy? The collective of all their people. Lovely. And let's do their collectives. Equals thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes. Okay, so the first thing that is coming through my right ear is Peter Andre, mysterious girl. Now remember on this channel, we're never sexually orientated or gender specific, um, but that song, Mysterious Girl, is coming quite clearly into my energy. So your person um, probably isn't handling this very well at the moment, but at the same time, they're finding you a little bit mysterious and they're wanting to get close to you. So that's pretty cool. Um, just kind of throw the card decks over the microphone if that went dead fuzzy then. Okay, can you tell me what is blocking these two, the people, the collective, these two people being together? What is the block? I haven't used this deck in ages. Uh, I know the new moon sent a few people a little bit crazy this uh, this week as well. It was quite an intense moon as it steps into Gemini. So I hope that you are all okay. Uh, my friend Marion, she runs a YouTube channel. She hasn't long started and she did a new moon reading. So you can go, if you want to go and have a look at the energies of the moon, she's ever so good at astrology. Her name's Marion K. Taro. I linked her in uh, the pages at the start when you first open the channel. So yeah, she did a, a fabulous new moon reading, which kind of explained why everyone's energy was everywhere. What's stopping these two being together? So my guide, as always, you know, my, my guide always goes between eight and nine cards, but he said we want nine today. So one more here. What's blocking them? And then one more for the top. Now, okay, we'll have two. All right. Cards have spoke. So, what's happening? What's blocking you two being together? Now, let's start off with the kind of the more positive side of things. There is a very strong, unconditional love that is between you and your person. And a bit like a dog, it's a bit like a faithful friend. Um, and even though you go through the mill and you go through the dark nights and you go through kind of all the, the really kind of heavy energies, there is a very strong love between the two of you. And that unconditional love 
is what is going to suffice through it all. It's gonna be the strong bond that keeps the two of you linked in together and linked in with one another's energy. You definitely pick up on each other. So if you're suddenly sitting there and you get hit by a wave of anxiety or worry or sadness, um, the best thing to do is just, as we, we speak about in other public readings, say return to sender, feel that energy come to you, um, say who does this belong to if you feel that your energy goes lighter it isn't your energy 98% of emotions and energy that we pick up is not our own okay so from that 98% if you say who does this belong to and you feel your energy getting lighter just simply say return to sender okay and what that's going to do is it's just going to send that energy that you are picking up back towards your person it's not going to do anything negative it's not going to do anything bad it's just that you are all empaths and you are all picking up on your people especially those of you that are more psychic as well okay so this unconditional love between the two of you is what is really kind of pulling the bond together. Now circumstances between you both has been very turbulent. I'm hearing very turbulent, very up, down, round, round, coming, going, unsure, hot, cold, really kind of unsure of where this energy is going but we really need uh, you guys my guide is saying you really need to focus on the unconditional love that is holding this bond together okay and you are tied together you're tied in um in a universal way most of you guys are going to be in the more divine connections the higher vibrational soulmates or twin flame connections and with that bond it's not something that you can break and um, so it's really something that you've just got to kind of learn to w live with learn to adapt with and just um, acknowledge and allow the connection that is happening between the two of you so your person let's talk about your person they have a lot of fears going on within them they have fears about abandonment. They have fears from childhood that they're not good enough. They have fears of jealousy. They have fears of betrayal. They have fears that um, if you came together right here, right now, perhaps they're not quite ready. They've got a lot of fears coming up to the surface. And a lot of this as well is kind of coming out at nighttime when they are sleeping. So if you guys are finding that you're having more negative dreams or quite darker dreams about your person, it's really going to be this kind of release of these fear-based energies happening between the two of you and it's the same for your person there is a lot of fears going on at the moment and a lot of nightmares um, the best thing to do with that is with your nine of swords card if you have a deck of tarot put it upside down okay and put it under your pillow but it has to be upside down because if it's the front way up what you're going to do is create more nightmares so turn it upside down it should any dark energies or any lower vibrational energies that you guys are feeling is going to lift the mood it's going to lift the energy and your dream should turn into a more positive now your person has been a bit of an a-hole with regard to your situation you lot as a whole again your collective energy and they probably haven't communicated with you how they're feeling what they want from the situation um, and where this is going and this again is kind of causing these nightmares and fears within you guys but also within them and again we're looking back at the fears that we've spoken about there are more fears but as your collective energy the ones we mentioned are the ones that are coming to the forefront we also have a bit of an addiction behavior happening with a lot of debt number one so um there could be uh, doing a bit of escapism with alcohol drugs miscellaneous sex anything along those lines your person is doing a little bit of escapism now the reason for that is because this situation between the two of you is very strong it's very intense it's a very spiritually deep connection and with that you get these fears okay and it's the duality of life light dark good bad right wrong yin yang male female we have this duality and sometimes when someone isn't fully awakened or is in the process of awakening this duality really can affect them and grip them hard now we spoke last time um in deck number two about a book um and i will show deck number one this time as well just in case you missed that um what i'll do is i will link it I'll link, um, I'll link the description in the book, uh, in the, no, I'll link the link in the description for you guys, okay? So this is a book by Sarah Prout, um, and again, if you watched that too last week, I do apologise for repeating myself. Uh, she's a really, really good manifestation lady. Now, at the start of this book, what it talks about is it has all your negative energies at the start. So there is a list, where's the list? These are your lower vibrational energies. So you've got stuff like abandoned, like we're talking about your person, addictive, aggressive, distant, disconnected, um, empty, guarded, negative, all these kind of negative frequencies. Now, with that, 
you turn to the page of the negative frequency. So let's go for, let us let me show you. Let's go for number one, abandon. Kind of like what we were just talking, they have fear of abandonment, okay? So on page number one, what you have is you have this um, manifestation on how to kind of step away from this energy. And what you can do, if you want to relate it to your person, is just say to your universe, loved ones, helpers, guides, any deities you work with, gods, goddesses, ascended masters, just say beforehand, okay guys, I'm gonna do this meditation, um, I'm gonna do this manifestation meditation, but could you please echo it onto my person because we have this divine connection and I really need them to feel the benefits of it as well. So then go through this kind of energy, go through this more, um, the darker kind of lower vibrational energy and at the bottom on the other on the other side of this you have the positive that counteracts the negative so you go through the negative vibration first and then to counteract it you've got on here examples of love supported or welcome so in the second half of the book we have got the positives okay um so let's you've got stuff on here like abundant adored balanced, beautiful, blissful, empowered, enlightened, and you can feel the frequency coming off it. So you turn to the page uh, which counteracts your negative ones. So I'm sure it said number 54 on there. There's some notes flying out. It's notes from spirit. Okay, so loved. And then you have a positive vibration for loved. And again, you can ask it to echo onto your person. Um, and, and you can flip your energies around. So it's really good, if you are in this lower frequency, it's a really good book at raising your frequency back up. So I do really recommend it. Um, I've had it for about a year, maybe two years. And um, it is, if you are in the lower frequency and for people that I read from private, um, it's really beneficial to all of you. But the private readings, we, we talk about it in them. Some people have, have learned a lot through that book. So it is something that I really recommend that you guys kind of invest in, okay? Uh, it was a tenor in England. I don't know how much it is elsewhere, but like I said, I'll link it in the description for you. Okay, so we've got this kind of heavily burdened energy of all these fears um, that are kind of amalgamating, so to say. It's all building up within your person and they're not really sure what direction they should be turning in. So these fears come up and start haunting them. So a lot of the issues that are blocking the two of you being together are the more fear-based energy. So from there, what we've got is we have this very uh, strong confusion within your person. Now they know that they have a number of options to take with you. And again, if we look at this picture, this is your person. If they were looking in the mirror, what they would see would be a different reflection to what they actually are as a person. So when they look in the mirror, they see all the negatives, they see all the heavy energy, they feel all this kind of issues with mom, issues with dad, um, issues with alcohol, issues with drugs, issues with love as a whole. Um, and they know that they haven't handled this situation well. And then Spirit are saying, um, you know, with this, this kind of negative energy, well, the, the lower frequency over here, this mirror energy, this guy is kind of pouring shots. And at the moment, your person is letting the fear call the shots, okay? They know they have a number of choices and decisions to make, but they are letting fear take over at this moment. Now, what's gonna happen is there is this kind of reversal of energies. So once all this kind of negative frequency happens and they really kind of go through these darker nights of the soul, and there is definitely dark nights of the soul going on, your person knows that they have to make different choices, okay? And they know they've got to make some decisions on their life. Um, and the focus of that, the unconditional love will, uh, will be throughout spirit saying it will win, okay? Unconditional love will win. And there seems to be an offer coming in towards you of love, okay? So at the moment you have got a lot of fear-based energy, but you also have this very strong unconditional love, this very strong divine connection holding the two of you together. At the moment they're playing a game with fear, they're letting fear win, um, but when they really focus on this unconditional love between the two of you, they know how much they love you, they know how much they adore you, and they can start making moves towards you. And through that you have an offer um, coming in of love, okay? You also have your person trying to give you a little bit of stability, um, but there is a bit kind of going on with this that they're gonna be cutting their nose off to spite their face a little bit, okay? So your person might say something to you which you think is a little bit underhanded, a little bit not right, um, or they might handle the situation in perhaps a way that you wouldn't want them to. Um, and it's this kind of cutting their nose off to spite their face. So if they start making moves towards you and then withdraw again, it's because these fears 
have got a hold of them. Um, so again, using that book, if you use that, you can really echo the energy onto your person. You can't do it for them, you can't impact free will, but as a divine connection, you guys mirror and you can use your mirroring tools to your benefit and get it to echo onto them, okay? So then you have this offer of love coming towards you. It might be a little bit withdrawn, they might say something and take it back, but please again, really focus on the unconditional love that's holding you two together. And again, really being drawn back to the energy of a dog. It's this kind of protective energy as well. They are trying to protect you, they're trying to protect themselves. They don't really know, as a whole of your collective energy, they don't really know who they are as a person. Um, and so they are trying to do a little bit of self-protection as well. So following that, when they focus on this unconditional love, this is when this movement really does happen towards you and they come in with some kind of offer of stability. Probably not the offer of stability that you guys are after, but it's gonna be something more than what you've been given already. Now, depending on how you perceive their offer, you have got a potential little bit of conflict going on between the two of you, okay? Because your head and your heart are gonna be really balancing and counteracting. What your head is trying to say to you, your heart is trying to say something different, um, but your soul is the driving force of this relationship. And please remember that, no matter what happens between you and your person, no matter where this relationship goes, your driving force is the soul connection between the two of you. So there is a potential for a little bit of conflict, conflict in the mind, conflict in the heart, um, and also some of you guys will have a physical conflict with this person. But it's not of, uh, an, a major issue, because what's going to happen is through this kind of conflicting energy, through this lower um, frequency, when you're both kind of in this fear-based energy and kind of bickering at each other, there is going to be a choice made on it, okay? So your person, um, they might cut off the nose to spite their face to, to begin with, but they're going to realise that they need to do something about the situation. They're really going to feel it in a strong way and they might feel as if they're going into this really kind of creep this creepy card I do like my creepy cards and um, going into this kind of tunnel you know this tunnel of where is this going what's gonna happen oh my god oh my god fear 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 but with the love the unconditional love being the driving force this fear is gonna be subsided and they will take a leap of faith spirit is saying it's gonna be a bit of blind faith just got chasing status blind faith gonna be a little bit of blind faith um, that they're just gonna let the universe lead the way and you guys are too okay because you're gonna make this choice on this situation and the majority of you watching it is gonna be going in your favor because the unconditional love is so strong between you and through that you have the lovers and you have the three of cups. Now with this lovers card, I'm being really drawn to travel, which I know at the moment is probably a little bit restricted because of everything happening around the world, but there is this kind of traveling energy. Your person is gonna start opening up about how they're feeling. Again, perhaps not in the way that you would like them to, but there is gonna be um, a need for them to communicate with you. They are worrying that they've lost you. They are worrying that they've really handled this badly and they are losing you or that, you know, perhaps if they let these fears hot, if they hold on to these fears much longer, they're gonna end up losing you. And it's, it's fright that is kind of frightening them more than the other fears that they are having, okay? They're just not admitting it to themselves or to you guys. So after that, you have your lovers and you have your celebration with your person, okay? So it looks like you guys are gonna get your shit sorted. Um, anywhere that the water has perhaps been stormy before, that water is going to settle. Water always stands for emotions. The emotion's gonna be relaxing. The emotion's gonna be chilling. Um, um, and that communication is going to be spoken through as adults. So potentially to begin with, a little bit of conflict, but from their communication as adults, working together to build a future, uh, and my guide is saying, based on stable foundation, okay? So at the moment, what is blocking you two being together? You have got a lot of fears of your person, a lot of nightmares, and a lot of kind of being burdened by the situation. Also with them, Spirit is saying that they think and then they overthink and then they add two and two and make 20 and they're also saying that you guys do that too. They're saying, uh, my guides are saying, make sure that you see the jigsaw pieces fitting into place before you come to assumptions and expectations, okay? So feeling burdened by it all. Unconditional love will be the driving force of this because the love between the two of you is so strong. 
also the soul pull. When this situation starts to move forward, there is potential for a little bit of a uh, heavy energy, a little bit of an argument, or simply a battle between the heart and the soul. They are taking shots with fear at the moment. Fear is uh, winning, but the, the scales will re-tip. And a lot of you guys were saying, to make those scales re-tip, a circumstance is really gonna hit home. That's what Spirit is saying. So what they mean by that is they're gonna have a bit of a tower moment, a bit of a wake-up call, and something is really gonna trigger them into one wanting um into knowing and wanting to do something about the love they have for you okay so these fears are going to create triggers which is going to bring your person towards you with an offer okay a more stable offer but also communicating about love as adults first time might not work first time might be a bit conflicting but after that first time you've got this strong communication between the two of you and from there your love settles and you guys have got this really strong chance of a future together okay so what's blocking you fears largely fears um fears of all these kind of issues that has been around since they were young going upwards again vast majority of uh, a vast variety of fears for the majority of you um taking shots with fear letting fear win Scales are going to re-tip. A situation with you guys is going to happen, not just with you, but with your person. A situation is going to happen, which is going to make them really need to act on it. And when that situation happens, they will come towards you with an offer of love, with an offer of stability. Might go a little bit peak tongue, might need to balance your heart and your head a little bit. But through there, you've got more stable grounding for a new beginning together. Okay, so that is what is blocking them from you and them being together at the moment and you guys are mirroring you know you guys have a lot of fears coming around with that situation as well um so the more release work you do the better it's going to be um the more and i hate it when psychics say this because i always find it it's a little bit um mm. <laughs> cringe but actually it's a very very true statement the more self-love you put into yourself the more you um, work on yourself and what you want and what direction you're going in the more your person is going to catch up with that as time goes on okay there is a timing for this and um, now with timings again this is your collective energy it can change from week to week because different people watch each week um, and also, you know, it is, again, collective. It's not individual timing. So if you want to look at individual timings, give me a shout. But your collective timing on this is a five to six, okay? So it could be five to six weeks, five to six months, May, which we're kind of in now, and June, okay? Roughly around that time frame that this situation is flipping into your favor. For those of you having nightmares, remember to sleep with the nine of swords under your pillow, but upside down. Make sure it's upside down, okay? All right, and that is deck number one. Gonna have a breather and do deck number two. Okay guys, deck number two, let's do this. So as always, as I said at the very start, it works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of circumstances, regardless of your situations. It's going into all your energy, all your people's energy, and pulling out the strongest mutual energy between you all. And it's a case of how many times can Ali say energy in one sentence? Okay. Think about your person for me. Uh, let's get into their person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought processes. I love this deck, it's very magical, but because this uh, reading is a little bit about shadow work, we've, we've gone for the kind of um, more intense decks. And this is an intense deck with a Wizard of Oz theme, so it's pretty cool. Um, Thoughts, feelings, energy, emotion, thought processes, and all possibilities, probabilities, choices, chances, and changes are the deck number two. Enjoys. <laughs> okay, let's do this. So, can you tell me what is stopping their people coming to be together? So, what's the block? Right, the first thing that is coming through my right ear, now when it's my right ear, um, I'm very, very, very clear audience. I have been since I was a child. My baby brother died. It's all on the website. My baby brother died. And um, I used to hear him and see him walking around like a regular person. And I've always been clear audience. So when I would communicate through my right ear, it's this higher vibrational energy. So this is ascended masters, higher vibrational guides, uh, angels, archangels yada 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 and in my left ear this is my close guides my um my epicenter of my psychic work spirit so it's my epicenter in my in my right ear what is blocking these two coming together so uh, in my left ear sorry so in the right ear the message that they're giving you is the invisible sun 
Okay, so that is quite a deep message in its own right. Some of you guys with that message, uh, they're talking about the need for astral traveling. So I don't know if any of you um, have actually tried astral traveling. If you haven't, it might be something that you want to look into. It's not the easiest. Um, it can be quite a complex thing. Um, I'm a massive astral traveler. I go in most of my meditations. I'm traveling all over the world and sitting on mountains and meeting, you know, a lot of um, influential figures that have passed a spirit. So it's worth, if you can, having a go at doing it. But again, please do it under the right circumstances. Do it with love, do it with light, because it's a big, big universe out there. So you do need to be careful. Um, you can go and have a Google of it. There was a really good book about astral traveling and I cannot remember who it's by. Um, but what I'll do is I will link that in the description for you. I'm gonna link in books in your descriptions. In deck number two, if you wanted to look at astral traveling, it's quite a good book let me write it down so when I'm in spirit energy I forget everything I'm saying because it's literally the channel I am the channel that pen doesn't work hold on and then I'll make sure that I need to link it and I'm right over the microphone astral travel book so that's what the invisible sun is basically talking about they're talking about astral traveling okay seeing uh there is a need here to do a bit more soul searching a bit of life path moving forward um and astral traveling if you can do it it's not a big necessity but it would be quite good for a lot of you watching quite complex I'll link the book in the description quite a nice easy book to teach you how to do it okay um so with that message of invisible sun as well spirit are also saying that um, the sun is obviously the kind of more masculine energies. Remember, we're never sexually orientated or gender specific on this channel. But with the kind of masculine energies coming through and the invisibility, sometimes your person has this kind of vanishing act going on, okay? Um, so even though they might seem that they've distanced themselves or stepped away or gone invisible, they are still in the background, just like the sun is always there, okay? They haven't gone that far. They are still there in your energy, but they might just be a little bit invisible at the moment. So two sides to that message, astral traveling, for those of you that want to try it, um, and invisible sun, that they are still in the background. It's just that you can't see it at this moment in time okay so what's blocking you guys being together your person as a whole hasn't been giving you the commitment that you want the commitment that you deserve or the commitment that you desire now a lot of that has been a little bit of self-protect um, but spirit also saying with this card if we look at this tiger this tiger is also a little bit like a baby tiger and you might not think that and some of you will say about the tiger king but nothing along those lines um, this is your person thinking about jumping through hoops okay so they are scared of giving you this kind of commitment because they know that they've got to create changes and your people as a whole in deck number two are a sucker for creating changes they don't like it they'd rather have an easy life where everything is kind of very earthly they're restricted by earthly constraints they're not freeing their mind they are just wanting to stay in the kind of matrix of the blue pill or the red pill and your people are staying i can't remember which way around it went but they're staying in the kind of earthly earthly side of things so through that they know that they would have to create changes and if they create changes they've got to change the whole life so at the moment your person isn't giving you that commitment that you deserve or desire because they're just not they're not in that right space at the moment they're not ready to create these changes in their life so this might mean that your person has walked away from the situation left you feeling a little bit abandoned um, left you feeling a bit lost left you feeling quite confused and you guys watching this are feeling in quite a hidden place and so not only is your person in an invisible sun your guys are kind of stuck in this cave um, and this cave that you guys are in you, you're struggling to kind of see your way through it you're trying to see the wood through the trees and you you just can't at this moment in time now spirit is saying with this cave it would be really good if you can kind of turn it into a crystal cave okay so instead of focusing on the the darker side of things and the heavier energy and the blocks that are stopping you in the way really look at the more positives that are happening around you now some of you will say oh i don't know if i've got any this is why they're talking about crystals start using these crystals or, or looking at what your fears are looking at um, what your worries are investing in some crystals that will help you to progress forward you know and um, let's talk about amethyst amethyst is a great one you know amethyst is there to kind of help release fears it's also a very strong spiritual connection crystal tourmaline hematite stopping the negative energy frequencies around you turning your your 
uh, vibration the other way around and it would be really good for you guys to do that at the moment so having a look at maybe investing in some crystals or something along those lines to turn this kind of cave where you can only see the, the darker side of things light some candles get some crystals try and turn it the other way around and again this is the soul searching energy that is coming up between you both um so you're going to feel as if your person has really let you down really abandoned you or really just left you in the shit and you're sitting here suffering the losses of it now a lot of you are worrying that your person is moving on that everything is great everything is fine and let's go back to the initial message from spirit at the start about the invisible sun everything is not okay everything is not fine they are still in the background but until they offer you this commitment you guys are a little bit bollocks really aren't you <laughs> Um, so from that level of commitment, where they are at the moment, let's talk about where this is going. So your person is trying to keep balanced on it all at the moment. They're weighing up their head, they're weighing up their heart, and they are having a break from it all. Um, so in this break, there is uh, still a heartache going on. So if you feel that they're not grieving or they're not sad um, and that everything is okay with them, that is your fears coming up to the surface. If we look at this card, we have the Three of Swords, which is kind of utter heartbreak over the top. You have your person here. Um, you know this guy's probably a bit older than what some of you would like but you have this person here and he is holding the fourth sword so your person is feeling the heartbreak and still holding on to the situation with you now it's important over here that we look at this moon okay the moon signifies the feminine energy like the Sun signifies the masculine energy so even though they are uh, either withdrawn or away from you they are still thinking about you you are still in their thoughts and um, but they're just not sure how to create these changes. They've got this major block about creating changes in their life, and that is where this lack of commitment is coming forward. They try and act on logic. This is the balancing of the emotions. They try to act on logic rather than the heart, um, because in the past, the majority of your people, they acted on their heart energy before, and they got burnt, you know? Um, and they, they are scared of getting burnt again, so they really try and balance these energies out. Now, it's really kind of important, again, if we look at this card, um, this is an infinite symbol can you see okay so you guys are entwined you're connected you're kind of entangled as such so even if they have withdrawn or stepped away from the situation again you're still there you're still in the back of the mind it's just that it hasn't this connection hasn't been giving you what you want um, and you know in deck number one I spoke about self-love and this is kind of very important for you guys over here that while your person isn't committing to you it's about making that commitment to yourself okay really valuing yourself and thinking right if this isn't going the way I want it I'm gonna kind of stand on my own and they'll catch up with me when they're ready the other side of this is if you guys are third party um, and your person is with someone else it's really important that you try to keep yourself in a frequency that when um, that until they commit to you you don't commit to them and I know that's really hard for a lot of you and I know that's gonna be kind of like oh my god but you will be the one that's in control of that then okay you're gonna be the one that's in the power and until they give you that commitment you don't need to offer them anything and even if you're not third party same thing goes until they commit to you you don't owe them anything and it's hard because you love them okay but again it's putting yourself forward it doesn't mean you have to go date date loads of people it doesn't mean go join the dating sites you've got to just put yourself first okay so not necessarily going out dating see who else is about obviously if that is what you want to do don't let this situation stop you but equally at the same time um, if you're not ready really just focus on what do you want to do with your life what new hobbies would be good for you where do you want to go what's going to happen what would you want okay and your person is going to catch up with you they need a reality check okay they do need this reality check and both of you are in a dark place at the moment you're both sad and um, it's just your person's very good at hiding it so from there we have this kind of energy coming forward that your person is just going to go with the flow of it so we get both of you are in this kind of dark energy well not dark energy but like lower frequency energy at the moment they might have felt at some point that you were attacking them uh, that you were trying to change them uh, uh, some of you guys if it isn't that way it's going to be the other way around that you feel your person was trying to change you and there was a little bit of wounded healing going on spirit is saying so your person is very wounded from stuff that has happened in the past okay and they are trying to heal from that situation now really with this um, instead of sending your person unconditional love it would be a really good idea if you send your piss uh, your 
person a healing energy. So those of you that do send your people energy, instead of focusing on a pink colour energy, focus on a green energy. Ask Archangel Raphael to come down to your person and help them heal from wounds that have happened in the past, okay? It would be really good for you. Um, Doreen Virtue, when she was really... Um, really spiritual. Uh, she did a meditation that you can find on YouTube. This meditation um, is called Cutting the Cords, but it's a very high frequency that works with archangels and things like that. It, when you cut cords with people, it doesn't cut the connection between the two of you, it cuts the kind of negative energies between the two of you. So those of you watching, um, again, let me write it down, I'll put Doreen um, meditation in the description for you as well. Uh, healing. I have to scribble it down. Again, frequency, when I'm in this frequency, it's, it's like total amnesia once I'm finished reading because it's just spirit channeling through me. So your person is going to go through the flow of it um, at this moment in time. You're both going through this kind of healing process. Sending healing to your person is really beneficial, sending them green light, but equally doing some healing yourself and that meditation will be really good for you guys to heal from the situation. So just like Dorothy, walking over this yellow brick road, there is a destination. So at the moment they're going with the flow of it, but the destination at the end is to get to the Emerald City. And if we look at that literally, Emerald being the colour green, again, healing okay so your person and you are on this yellow brick road yellow um is the the um the, 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 the. yellow is the solar plexus color which is often about self-confidence and self-esteem so you guys are building this self-esteem going along your self-esteem road to get to your center of healing now when you get to the emerald city that's when things are going to start shifting and moving in your favor but there is a need for healing first between you all so on the, your route to the emerald city your person will start being by your side not at this moment in time because your person is having a break from it but again the more healing you do the more self work you do uh, the more your person is going to come towards you so Toto again dogs are really being brought into this reading today this is a focus on unconditional love and um, you know how it is when you see a dog and um, you guys want to see Poppy actually you know what I will film her and I'll stick it at the end of the video because I know lots of you haven't seen Poppy since the start of the channel so I'll put a little footage of her at the end of deck two okay so if you want to see Poppy I'll put her there she had a really bad cut the other day I took her for a walk and um, her paw got cut really bad. So she's been on three legs and in a bandage, but it's healed now, luckily. It was, it was a bad one. Um, but unconditional love, I've got sidetracked. I'll stick a picture, a video of Poppy at the end. Unconditional love from your person, okay? Um, so at the moment, again, going through this period of gaining clarity, spirit are saying gaining self-confidence, but heading towards a focus and a center of healing. Now, Toto is gonna to be meeting you in your healing center, okay? So the more healing you do for yourself, the more your person is gonna start being drawn towards you, okay? <clears throat> From there, this healing center is gonna be gathering strength, you're gonna be gathering courage. Um, these fears that, again, Spirit is saying lions and tigers and bears, oh my, we know that's from the Wizard of Oz. These fears, um, you know, the lion needed courage, the tin man needed a heart, um, what was the other one? The scarecrow needed a brain, okay? So again, it's this yellow, this yellow brick road, this process of gaining uh, clarity over the situation to get to the center of this healing world. And in this healing world, your wishes will come true, okay? So you can sit there feeling very abundant and happy that you guys have worked it out and worked it through and you're gonna be in your Emerald City in a very strong and abundant place. Um, if you guys need manifesting plans to kind of get this in motion, I do do manifesting plans. Um, they are tailored individually to you, so not one person's is the same as the next. You send me your desires, your miracles, what you want. Me and my guides work out a tailor-made plan for you and we get it back to you. Um, with the tools and techniques to bring it into your favor okay so you have this abundance once you reach this emerald city we've just got to get you guys working through these fears working through this kind of clarity over the situation trying to step away from that fear-based energy to a place of healing place of healing place of unconditional love crystals will be really beneficial to you guys as mentioned uh, before and from there you've got your wishes coming true your dreams coming true your wishes coming true and finance well not financial you can have financial abundance but normal abundance as well abundance of love you know higher frequency and um, spirit just told me about maslow's hierarchy of needs um so I don't know how many of you know about this, but Maslow um, was a guy, 
a long, long time ago, um, who did a triangle of people's needs. Um, at the bottom, you have things like uh, security, you have money, you have a home, you have food, okay, water what you need to survive and then you start working your way up the chart and when you get to the very top of this chart you have self-actualization which is the realizing of yourself and living to your true purpose so at the moment your people are kind of in this middle ground of this Maslow's hierarchy if you don't know what I'm talking about go and have a google of it they're in this middle ground of Maslow's hierarchy of needs but they're going to start going to what you guys on this yellow brick road together are going to start working towards a self-actualization Okay, this healing at the top of the te at the top of the temple, top of the pyramid. Okay, space of healing. So the largest block that you two is stopping you two being together is this need for healing. It's about stuff that's happened in the past. Also, healing present issues, the stuff that's happened between you now. You are both wounded healers. Balancing of the emotions, balancing of the head, balancing of the fears, trying to release stuff that's happened in the past, and this lack of commitment. So once your person has, you know, had time done this healing and you guys have done your healing and you will echo and mirror onto one another the more work you do in yourself yourself the more it's going to turn in your favor with your person okay so lots of healing for you guys and um, I'll, I'll link the astral travel book again if you need deeper soul meanings and um, soul searching you guys are soul searching at the moment be soul searching so that you can get to a place of healing so that this can move forward so if you don't know what you're doing at the moment and everything's really quiet that is what is happening. You are doing soul searching. Um, so I'll link the astral travel book in the description for you. I will also um, put Doreen Virtue's healing meditation to cut the cords. Again, it doesn't cut the cords of the, the positive side of things. It just cuts any negative attachments that you have to places, to things, to situations. Really, really good for you. Go with the flow of it, okay? You are on the right path. You are heading in the right direction. It's just been a bit of a, um, a difficult time. 2020 has been a very funny year, as we always knew it would be. It's been a very, very funny year, but it is, you guys are heading in the right direction. And even if you can't see at the moment that anything is happening, happening anything is being productive for you, it is heading the right direction. You're on the right path and you'll get to where you want to be. And when you get to where you want to be and you start this healing, your person is gonna go from this non-committal energy to start making changes, feeling stable enough to make the changes to give you the commitment that you want. And you guys will meet in this Emerald City where everything is gonna be great. Slow progress, okay? It is slow, steady movement. <coughs> is there a timing on this? Um, Spirit are saying for a collective timing, now remember with collective timings, I just said in debt number one, different people watch every week so the timings can change, um, it's going into all your energies, pulling out the mutual energy between you all. Um, so if you want individual timings, just give me a shout. There is free will when it comes to timing, you know, time is fluid, this is solid, walls are solid, uh, cards are solid, but time is in the fair dimension, it's a fluid, okay, so it can change it's really important that you do know that when we give timings they always right here right now as i do your cards your people have got free will we're not normally that far out we being me and my guides whenever i say we i mean me and my guides we're not normally that far out um but you do need an awareness about free will okay free will dictates this world nothing in our life is predestined okay there's always things that are you know when we come down to earth you're probably always uh, like an example for me i was always going to be spiritual um, I was probably always going to get run over, which is part of my awakening. I was that all of that was always going to happen. But what path I choose, um, you know, if I choose to have kids, anything along those lines, that is down to me. Children will probably come into my energy maybe at some point, but they might not. You know, they'll they'll be there if they're going to happen. They'll be there because I'll have signed that contract for that to happen. But who they're with. When they happen, that's down to free will. Same with marriage, same with love, okay? You were probably always gonna meet your person, but free will can dictate the situation of how it's gonna go. So really try to do some uh, letting go of these fears. Lots of healing work for debt number two, and this is gonna progress in the right direction for you. Okay, and that's step number two. So I'll put a little video of Poppy now. Um, if you need me, uh, just drop me an email. Website's up and running. There's a contact form on there. Um, I've also put all the different types of readings that I do on there. Um, I'm at a conference. I'm at, well, I'm at a virtual tarot conference again this weekend. Um, so if I go a little bit quiet over the weekend, please bear with me. I will still be checking my emails. I am still at home. Um, turnaround time is still down because all I'm doing is working at the moment because uh, I have no life. I am just sitting at home uh, doing readings all day. So turnaround time is still down at the moment. So if you need me, just give me a shout. 
okay? Oh, also, Spirit just interrupted me. They're telling me to tell you that I do do single questions as well uh, as just video readings. So I do 15 minute video readings, half hour video readings, just psychic readings. Uh, but I also do single questions over email, which has a turnaround of 24 to 48 hours. So if you can't wait the seven uh, to 14 days, if you can't wait that, the, um, the email questions are 24 to 48 hours. My guy just interrupted me to remind you. Okay, guys, sending you lots of love. Look after yourselves. Take care, and I'll speak to you soon. God bless, angels. Bye.